The following video contains content owned and created by Rooster Teeth. Please support the official release before watching my video. Thank you. Yo, what it do YouTube? It's me, Can't Stop A Money, and we are back with another reaction video inside the hyperbolic reaction chamber and this yes this is another reaction to ruby guys first things first before we begin i would say i hope you enjoyed chapters one but you guys chapter one of volume of volume two but you guys already know what the story is right there um yeah right like i said guys i'm uh working on it talking to uh, some people messaging rooster teeth and a couple more people to help me out with it. Maybe I can get it back up for you guys. And I wish, you know, let y'all know about that one. So, we're going to go ahead and continue to go on to chapter two. And uh, we're going to try it this way. So, I've been reading y'all's comments. Thank you all so much for y'all's comments. And, you know, for what y'all think I should do. Uh, all great ideas for this, for this time right here for chapter two. I'm going to go ahead and roll with this one. So, we're going to make the video about about mm, it's a little bit smaller in this corner trend a little bit transparent not too much just a little bit and we're going to continue to probably lower the volume down just a little bit a little bit more and we're going to put a border around the video uh, and make sure to see if that works and uh if it does you know we can probably stick with that or if you guys don't like it let me know because I, I just you know this is this is a whole thing right here for us to do you know so guys without further ado the video will be played right here in this little area right here not too small <laughs> let's get into this this is ruby volume 2 chapter 2 titled welcome to beacon that's all of beacon academy Wow, look at that. Hello, General. Please talk to some out. <laughs> it's been too long. And Glinda, it has certainly been too long since we last met. Oh, Damien. I'll be outside. <laughs> she doesn't look too happy to see him. Well, she hasn't changed a bit. So, what in the world has brought you all the way down from Athens? Headmasters don't typically travel with their students for the Vigil Festival. Well, you know how much I love Vale this time of year. Besides, with you hosting, I thought this might be a good opportunity for us to catch up. I can certainly appreciate quality time between friends. However, a small fleet outside my window has me somewhat concerned. Well, concern hmm. is what brought me here. And I understand travel between kingdoms has become increasingly difficult. Oz, you and I both know why. There's a reason behind this. We are in a time of peace. Shows of power like this are just going to give off the wrong impression. But if what Pro said is true, if what Pro said is true, then we will handle it tactfully. It's the Vigil Festival. A time to celebrate unity and peace. So I suggest you not scare people by transporting hundreds of soldiers halfway across the continent. But just be really cautious. As am I. Which is why we will continue to train the best huntsmen and huntresses we can. Believe me. They got the best. They got four of the best. And, well, eight of the best, actually. Ask yourself this. <laughs> Do you honestly believe your children can win a war? Yes. Yes. I hope they never have to. He doesn't want them to fight? Oh, we're back with Team Ruby. You shall long prepare your kingdom for battle. Bring it on. I deploy the Allegiant Air Fleet. <gasps> Looks like I get to fly right over your Earth side and attack your walls directly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Pretty 
Thank you, sis. But you just activated my trap card. Woo! Giant Nevermore! If I roll a seven or higher, Fail Feathers will slice your fleet in two. But if you roll a six or lower, so this is like a kind of form of Yu-Gi-Oh. Small form. And my boy John. Norris passed out. Rena just. <laughs> Where's Pira? Hmm? Oh, no, he's supposed to be. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Vacuo, which means all vacuo based cards come with a bonus. That sounds dumb. See, you've got Sandstorm, Desert Scavenge, oh, oh, Resourceful Raider. See, now you can take Ruby's discard air fleet and put it in your hand. Okay. And since Vacuo Warriors have an endurance boost against natural hazards, you could use Sandstorm to disable my ground forces and simultaneously infiltrate my kingdom. Just know oh. I will not forget this declaration of war. And that means you're just three rooms away from conquering Remnant. Oh. <laughs> yes. Fear the almighty power of my forces. Power as a pillager home, then weep as they take your children from your very arms. Trap card. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she did look at. <laughs> she did look at her hand. Okay. Oh, she's too cool for that. Veil of me and um, that little, that little city. By this shirt. Hello again. Come on, <laughs> let me play your hand for a turn. I'm not trusting you as the good citizens of Vacuo. Why not? You've trusted me with way more important stuff before. I mean, you told us all that Blake is secretly a fun loving person whom we all admire. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, what you hide? <laughs> Ladies, enjoy your battle. Hey, your son. I just want you to introduce you to my old friend. Uh, aren't libraries for reading? Thank you. <laughs> Shut up, don't be a nerd. Get, 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 get. I'm Neptune. So, Neptune. Where Neptune, you? that's your name. And I don't believe I've caught your name, Snow Angel. Um, I'm white. You're kidding me. Pleasure Neptune, you. like God of the Sea? I took you as a board game playing type. Let me know, guys. Right. Well, I think I'm done playing, actually. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> so Blake's thinking about their last encounter. Well, this has certainly been an eventful evening. <laughs> I'm sure that after a night of thwarting attempted robbery, you probably just want to go home and take a nap. But I was hoping that maybe we could have a chance to talk. Of course. Wonderful. As you know, in order to enroll at my academy, Students must first pass a rigorous entrance exam. Most applicants spend years of preparation training at one of the many combat schools around the world. Hmm. You are one of the few who did not. And you passed the exam with flying colors. I was raised outside the kingdom. If you can't fight, you can't survive. Well, you have most certainly Makes sense. survived, Blake. I admire your drive. And I am proud to run a school that accepts individuals from all walks of life. Rich. Poor, human, bonus. Why do you wear that bow, Blake? Why hide who you are? You may be willing to accept the bonus, Professor Austin, but your species is not. True. But we are continuing to take strides to lessen the divide. With all due respect, you need to start taking some larger strides. Until then, I'd rather avoid any unnecessary assumptions. I want people to see me for who I am, not what I am. And what are you? I I don't understand what you're asking. How did you know the white person would be at the shipyard tonight? I didn't. 
Oh, they don't know that she's White Fang. Or she used to be White Fang. What happened tonight was not an isolated incident. I may be your headmaster, but I am also a huntsman. And it is my sworn duty to protect this world from the forces that conspire against it. Glade, are you sure there is nothing else you would like to tell me? I'm sure. Very well. Thank you for your time. Ooh. Yeah, he's gonna. They're gonna find out soon. Please don't hesitate to ask. Ugh, you should have never let him play. <laughs> You're just mad because the new guy beat you. See, if you had just attacked when I told you, none of this would have happened. Stop. Hmm? Lately, you've been quiet, antisocial, and moody. Uh, have you met Blake? Which I get. It's kind of your thing, but you've been doing it more than usual. Which, quite frankly, is unacceptable. You made a promise to me, to all of us, that you would let us know if something was wrong. So, Lake Belladonna, what is wrong? Well, that's a... <laughs> I just want her to fall one good time, but you know what? She Weiss gets another point. Still thinking about Torchwick? Torchwick, the White Fang, all of it. Something big is happening and no one is doing anything about it. Austin told us not to worry. Between the police and the huntsmen, I'm sure they could handle it. Well, I'm not. They don't know the White Fang like I do. Hmm. Okay. Between blowing up nightclubs, stopping thieves, and fighting for freedom, I'm sure the three of you think you're all ready to go out and apprehend these ne'er do well. Uh, who? But let me once again be the voice of reason. We're students. We're not ready to handle this sort of situation. Well, yeah, but <laughs> we're uh, not ready. And we may not be ready. It. Our enemies aren't just going to sit around and wait for graduation day. They're out there somewhere planning their next move. And none of us know what it is, but it's coming. Whether we're ready or not. Okay. All in favor of becoming the youngest hunter since I single-handedly bring down a corrupt organization conspiring against the kingdom of Hale. Say I. Yes. I love it when you're feisty. I. I suppose it could be fun. Then we said See? I. All right then. I said I. We're in this together. <laughs> Let's hatch a plan. Yeah. Ooh, I left my board game in the library. We're doomed. I'll be right back. And she runs into the camera. Right. Are, are you okay? I'm fine. Just oh, Mercury and I forgot her name. Cinder. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, you're here with the vegetable. Oh, but exchange. They go to bacon. I guess we just got turned around. <laughs> Don't worry, it happens all the time. Uh, your building is just east of here. Thanks. Maybe we'll see you around. Oh, and don't try. <laughs> That's why they title it Welcome to Beacon. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and guys, there you have it. Chapter 2 of Volume 2. I hope this video doesn't get taken down. <laughs> but, uh, well, uh, they so yeah. Wife, uh, Blake, she's she's worried that, you know, the White Fang could plan some huge attack at any time. And they're not ready for it. Which is the same thing that the guy from earlier, uh, mm, James, <laughs> I forget names quickly. Uh, James said to uh, Mr. Ospin earlier, "Are you ready to, you know, for kids to, for kids to go to war?" And you know, he just hopes he just hope they don't have to. But we all know that they they're going to do just fine. So I can't wait to get into chapter three, guys. So you know, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you guys like how this has been done right now, you know. Let me know in the comment section. I know, yeah, I, you know, it, some people probably won't, but you know, we'll we'll compromise, you know, because I want the best for us guys. You know, we got to keep growing. I love you all. Like you guys give me all the support in the world, and it means so much to me. And, you know, the least I can do is keep this going. Let's keep this going, guys. They can't stop us. They can't stop our money. So thank you all for watching the video, and I will see you all in my next one. Sayonara.